Well, UNC system leaders have said that the changes were going to look different on each campus, as some might say that they went too far, while others might say that it didn't go too far enough. And still, uh, UNC system president Peter Hans stood by the new policy, saying in part that it focuses on student success for students uh, from all backgrounds and beliefs. UNC system president Peter Hans reaffirmed his commitment to student success after the new neutrality policy prompted changes to existing diversity, equity and inclusion programs, including the elimination and reassignment of several dozen jobs at its campuses across the state. Our focus here from the beginning has been to get back to basics, which is our, our student success. And uh, by reinvesting that $17 million in support for all students, regardless of background and belief, uh, is uh, the outcome I believe uh, the board uh, hoped to achieve. UNC Chapel Hill reported the most eliminations of positions. 20 have been eliminated and the DEI office no longer exists on campus. But UNC Chapel Hill Vice Provost Leah Cox says many of the programs that were there before still exist. So many of those programs have just been moved to other uh, reporting structures. There's no longer a central DEI or DNI office, but some of the programs are still standing. We still have a profound duty um, to reflect and serve all of the students um, in the state. And Cox was clear in that she wants to make sure that students are feeling welcome, heard, and have a sense of belonging in Chapel Hill, uh, which UNC system leaders echoed, believing that they can still do that under the new policy. Uh, I did talk to one former DEI staff, however, uh, what he says he feels about the new policy is ahead on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bates, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, lots of opinions coming out about this one. Cindy, we'll see you then. Thank you.